Hi, this is example 6.5. So here we have a truss with several members, as you see, and we have a pin at A that restricts two displacement in X and Y, therefore it's two reactions, and we have a roller at G that restricts only one displacement in vertical direction, therefore it's only one reaction. And then we have three uh, external loads applied. And they like us to find the forces in the members Kj, Kd, and Cd. So since there are many joints and we want to find the, the forces in the member that are inside the truss, I will use the section bed. or method of sections. And I will cut my truss there where I want to find the force in the members. So the first step of the method of sections is to find external reactions. To find external reactions, I have to do the free body diagram of the whole thrust. And let me do that. So I will draw my thrust completely. And I don't, so to say, I don't even care about what is happening inside my thrust, but I will draw it anyway. So what I mostly care about is that I have external forces, which are 20 kilonewtons, 30 kilonewtons, and 40 kilonewtons, and I care about how many reactions forces I have in my external uh, supports. I have, as I said, a pin at A that creates two forces, AY and AX, and I have a roller at G that creates only one reaction. So this is my free body diagram of my whole thrust. And then I will apply the equations of equilibrium. Since it's a rigid body, I have three equations of equilibrium. My first equation, I can say that is adding forces in X. And as I see, I don't have many forces in a X, only AX. And since I don't have any force, other force, I can say that AX is equal to C. Then I have two more equations, which is adding forces in Y and taking moment. If I add forces in Y, I have two unknowns, and therefore I will do it as in the last step. I will take moment respect to one of the points, either A or G, to cancel that unknown. Let me take moment respect to A. And do this very carefully so that you don't make any mistakes because if you make a mistake in the external reactions, then the internal forces will uh, be wrong, right? So I will add all the moments at A and that will be equals to zero. So for that I need the distance, right? I have two over here, two over here, and I have six over here. So. I will use the right hand rule to determine the sign of the, each of these moments. I will place my hand where I'm taking the moment, my distance, and I curl my fingers towards where the force is pointing towards, right? So it will be negative two times 20 kilonewtons. Then it will be negative four, also negative, right? Times 30 kilonewtons. There will be six, times 40 kilonewtons. I don't have, these two forces do not produce any moment because I'm taking moment respect to that point. And then I have all the distance, which is 12, and that creates a positive moment. So it's 12 times GY equals to C. My only unknown is GY, so I solve for GY, right? 
and I get that gy is equals to, and I have the result right here, but what you have to do is put all these values to the other side and divide by 12, right? And please do the calculations, and I get that is 33.3 kilonewtons. Now that I have gy, I will add forces in y equals to zero, and then I have ay plus gy, which I already know, minus 20 minus 30 minus 40, and that's equals to zero. And I solve for ay, and then ay will be equals to 56.7 kilo. So I was able to find my external reactions for the support. Now I can do my cut, and I will do this cut over here so that I will be able to see what is happening internally. Once I do the cut, I can either draw the free body diagram that is left to this side, which will be this one right here, or I could draw the free body diagram that is at the right of my cut. In either case, you will get exact the same answers. So let's do the free body diagram of cut. I can call it cut one, right? And then I will draw, as I said, what is left, the rigid body that is left from my cut, so it will be This one right here, I cannot forget my external force that is already known, a y, which is already, I have it already, right, kilonewtons. I have to put my external forces. I have one in B, so this is A, this is B, this is C, this is L, and this is K. All the time that I spend doing a very good free body diagram is gain towards not committing any errors. So I have to place this force over here, which I know is 20 kilonewtons, and I have another force that is in C, which is 30 kilonewtons. And now I have to draw my internal forces. My internal forces will be, and as I did with the methods of joint, I always will draw the forces out of the, pointing out of the joint. So I will assume that they are uh, in tension, and if I get a negative value, they will be in compression, right? So this will be my reaction, Kj. Then I have a reaction right here that is the reaction K D, and then I have a reaction right here that it goes to the same point, which is my reaction C D. So I have to be a little bit, uh, so to say, clever to choose where I'm going to take moment so that I have the least amount of unknowns. So as you see, this is point B. As you see, I, and very important that we have to describe the, the angles or all the measurements of this uh, free body diagram. We have this, this is two, this is two, and this is three. Therefore, we have this angle over here, right? This angle over here, is this one over here. And if you see that this is two and this is three, I could actually find the hypotenuse, which is square root of two squared, which is four, plus three squared, which is nine. It gives me that the hypotenuse is square root of 13. So I actually could use the triangle right here. This one is the one that I am using, three, two, and this is 13, 
and this is let me write it correctly and this is the angle theta therefore cosine of theta will be equals to adjacent over hypotenuse and the sine of theta will be opposite over hypotenuse so i have then that angle described now i can for example add forces in y and in y these two will not contribute therefore i have plus 56.7 minus 20 minus 30 right minus the reaction kd and i have to get the component in y which will be multiplied by sine of theta equals to zero and in this case sine of theta is already known so i can solve for reaction in the member KD. And please solve this equation. I have it right here. And the sign, as you remember, is 3 over 13. And this gives me the value of 8.05 kilonewtons positive. It means that since it's positive, it means that it's in tension. So we were able to find this one right here. Now, as you see, if we add forces in X, we will have two unknowns. So we can take moment, for example, at point K. If the, we take moment at point K, or we can take moment at D, for example, and then find, find the value of a reaction Kj. So as what I'm trying to say is that there is not a unique process to get to the same solution. So this problem has only one solution, but many ways to get to that solution because I can take moment respect to point K, I can take moment respect to point C, and these two forces will produce moment, right? I can take moment respect to point D, for example. And if I take moment respect to point D, those two cancel out, and I have only the moment that is created by this reaction and those three, therefore, I will be able to find the reaction in Kg. Let's do that. So I will add the moments produced at point D. And as you see, D is not even in my free body diagram. So I can take moment respect to a point that is outside my diagram. is equals to zero. And that leads me to the following equation. So 30, this is 2 as well. So 30 produce a positive moment, 2 times 30, 20 produce a positive moment, which is 4 times 20. AJ produce a negative moment, right? Because I will, I will place my hand where I'm taking the moment, and I see that it's a negative. And it's negative 6, right? Because from D to A is 6. 5.56.7 and then I take a negative moment of this force right here and the and the height is 3 so it will be negative 3 reaction kj and that's equals to c those two reactions do not produce any moment and when I solve for kj is equals to negative 66.7 kilonewtons. I got a negative value. It means that my member is in compression. It means that these forces are pulling the truss downwards and the members that are in the top are being compressed. So we have only one more to find because we found that one. And for that, I will add forces in X. And I don't have any external forces or reaction forces from the external uh, reactions in X. So I have only these ones. And this will be air CD plus KD. And now is cosine 
and cosine is square root of 2 over 13 and and I have plus reaction kj equals to c and I already found all the reactions so the only one that I need to find is this one right so for rcd which will be equal to negative this one right here which is 8.05 cosine which is 2 square root of 13 minus this one right here and then my value is equals to 62.2 kilo newtons and that gives me a value in tension and with only one cut we were able to find these three reactions obviously if we want to find more members we have to either do a different cut or use the joint method we could actually combine the joint method with the section method.